Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. What we're looking at is how do we use media, interactive media and biofeedback mm -hmm. to facilitate personal transformation and induce awakening, mm -hmm. which would be <laughs> another hard thing to describe. But generally, if you look at it, and if we look at the developmental process path, you know, we talked about Wilhelm Reich a little bit. Yes. But there's another guy named Jean Piaget mm -hmm. who studied uh, childhood development. Exactly. Yes. And so your worldview continues to develop, mm -hmm. and he mapped out the stages that yes, you develop. Mm -hmm. And then there are other people that kind of continued beyond Abraham so Maslow. Maslow and the hierarchy of needs, or yes. Claire Graves and the levels of existence. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with Claire no, Graves? Actually not so much. Really? No. Oh. So it turns out the decisions that you make, or as you live your life, the decisions that you make change. Mm -hmm. You know, so for example, we had just talked ab uh, about one of your staff members who had one life and he was mentioning this being another life. Mm -hmm. he, he had worked in Asia and everything yes, right. and realized that, hey, enough is enough or something shifted in him and he wanted to do something else. Mm -hmm. And so as we live our life, our worldview continues to change. Yes, it does. And so right. what Claire Graves did was mm -hmm. he mapped out in rough form mm -hmm. these levels of existence mm -hmm. of the stages in which people change. And to put it in an analogy with, it happens with individuals mm -hmm. and it kind of happens with countries as well too. So if you look at China today, yes. China is kind of where the US was in the late 1800s. You oh, think of the pollution, right. yeah. child labor. Only it's, it's changing so fast. Yes, and that's mm -hmm. where technology comes yeah. in, and we can talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. But if you look at Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia is actually kind of where the U.S. was in the 1700s. Mm -hmm. If you think of the Puritans and the witch trials, the Salem yes. witch trials, and mm -hmm. all of that very mm -hmm. fundamentalist view, yeah. these are all different stages in the Claire Grave scale. Uh -huh. And as people develop, mm -hmm. as individuals develop, mm -hmm. and collectives of individuals yeah individuals develop. You know, now you have an African-American president, mm -hmm. you have gay marriage, there are all of these things that are just even, you know, places like Saudi Arabia, these probably yeah. are still... Sometimes we wonder, what's the matter? Why can't the rest of the world pace us exactly? Yeah, and then, mm -hmm. then that's the issue, is that each person, <laughs> uh -huh. and the, the key thing about that which you bring up, is that we're all in essentially the same, mm -hmm. but we're just at different stages of development. Well, I'm under the impression, though, that these stages, um, the order in which one goes through these stages can can be different from person to person or country to country. I, I understand that Maslow, for example, at the end of his life decided that the hierarchy uh, should be reversed, that people should start with self-actualization and then move. Well, my work actually, others. my work, mm -hmm. in fact, I have a paper published in this as well uh -huh. too, called On uh, Recovering Creativity. Mm -hmm. The argument is that we were born mm -hmm. enlightened effectively, yeah. and then what happens is through the, we, but we're dependent, mm -hmm. and through the development of becoming independent, we take on all of this conditioning, mm -hmm. and to be, to, to climb the hierarchy of needs is, yeah. isn't going out here, it's really undoing all of the, yeah, the issues here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, ultimately it's about being in mm -hmm. the state where you're acting from mm -hmm. intuition or insight mm -hmm. or natural intelligence, mm -hmm. as they would say. But then that can get a little woo-woo. Well, I think T.S. Eliot in uh, one of his poems talked about arriving home where you've always been only discovering it for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.